You don't hear anything. Am I gonna have to spank you? Am Scray? Maybe she's wanting to join us, yes? You hear muffled voices coming through the door to Yvette's office. You lied to me! Well, lass, I guess that makes us even. You lied to me! You had something to do with the dagger burglary! You've been sleeping with someone else. I saw you go off with that dark worker. I've never slept with Steve. And the Ziggy fellow, he told me about you and the dagger. And you believe that little weasel? I've arrested the man more times than I can count. The Ziggy, I know him a long time. He would not lie to me. That man had lied to his own mother if someone paid him for it. Ziggy, he says you were working with the Carrington to steal the dagger. Lies! You can't be trusting the man. If he wasn't already dead, I'd pound the truth out of him. Maybe you already did. Were you sleeping with the little rat then? Of course not. You really surprised me, lass. I'd think you grew up on the streets accusing me of burglary like that. Where I grew up doesn't matter, does it? The important thing is... Wait, did you hear something at the door? Yeah, I was hearing it too. Keep your voice down then. Your facial scars are so wonderful. How did you get them? Fencing, Maestro Ruri. As a young man, I would fence with my Heidelberg friends. We would stop our opponent's saber just before it went through our faces, which would make the scars you see now. Ah, that is very interesting. You did not use masks to protect your faces? Nein. That would have been considered unmanly. Hmm, you'll have to show me how to do that sometime. There are many things I can show you, my strudel. Perhaps we should go somewhere less public, Wolfie. Oh yeah, good idea. 
particularly since there's that annoying reporter wandering around the museum. That is not something I would have allowed if I was running things here. Give it time, Wolfie. Perhaps you will be running things here someday, if I have anything to say about it. Oh? What can you do? There are ways, but come, let us speak of these things in more privacy. head lolls back limply. The fabric of the shirt appears to be clinging somewhat to Ernie's chest. Ernie's pants appear to be clinging somewhat to his legs. The long curved tusks of the mastodon are currently supporting the limp weight of Ernie Leach, ex-maintenance engineer. The hairs are bristled and clearly animal in origin, with a faint smell of alcohol. You pick it up and place it in your purse. The suspenders are damp but intact and reek of alcohol or something similarly chemical, dry cleaning fluid perhaps. You are smelling like the brewery, mein Kapitan. Either you've been drinking, or you've been eating too many of those grapes. Sure and Bigora. A man needs a little nip from his flask now and then, doesn't he? Personally, I do not require the drinking of the alcohol. It would impair my mental and physical skills. Ernie Leach has been murdered! What was that, lass? Ernie is dead! So, you've finally come to us to confess, is that it? Confess? No! I'm reporting a murder! And you was the first one to find the body again? Well, I guess so. Quite a coincidence, Fraulein. I think we should be interrogating you to learn the truth! I've had enough of your lies! Calm down, Heimlich. If there's any interrogating to be done, I'll be the one who does it. Now then, lass, where did you find the body? The Mastodon room. He's hanging from some Mastodon tusks. Ah, he's probably just sleeping on the job. No, I'm sure he's dead. Well, I'll go take a look at him then. If I need to talk to you, I'll find you later. <laughs> <laughs> 